Hold on, they come by and certify them every... Leave, you screw this! <laughs> Get another one! Okay, everybody ready? This is not to humiliate anybody at all by any means at all. This is just to see Love if you know. Is a burn. So, and then we're gonna we're gonna tell everybody if you don't know. So this is I would take this seriously though. I wouldn't take this flippantly. Uh, this is important. All right. Today's topic is about fire. Fire. All right. So I want you to write down in order, listen to me specifically because it matters, in order the four things that is nece necessary to using a fire extinguisher to put out a fire. We call this the four words. Four, five, four, six, four, five, four, five, four, five. It's not big deal. You think you got it? Well, uh, we'll just see about that, won't we? <laughs> I'll be darned. You got it. Do I smell right, it? So you can, you, can, you, you can be the test grader. There you go. Let's see how the boss did. Scream. That's number one. Scream. Number two is yell at Brad or Mike. It's got to be their fault. Number three is finally. And number four, and put out the fire. So, you did good. You did real good. Mike, Let's all go outside. Come on. Come on. Is this a fire? Are we making s'mores? Oh, or are we like, we're making, having oh, training? I have some for <laughs> s'mores. <laughs> you should have told me. I'll get s'mores. What happens if it doesn't work? All right, we're going to pull the pin. You can edit that first part <laughs> yeah. out. We're going to pull the pin. Pull the pin. Aim the hose. Aim the hose. And squeeze at the base. Now sweep, you guys sweep. Hey, hey! All my cards over there. That concludes today's activity. As you sign a tool talk, that'd be great. It's on the. Uh, Can we like actually like really? So, what's the lesson about the extinguishers? I have nothing to do with that. That's a that's a fire marshal. Did you guys people did you guys squeeze it yesterday or something? Yeah, we, we did. We did. To make okay. sure it works. That same so, one. That wouldn't happen. The one without the pressure. Yeah, the one without the pressure. Okay, so that's so once I once it's used, you can't it's use it again. Pressure goes. I fell into a burning ring of fire. I went down, 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 and the flames went higher. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire. The ring of fire. The taste. Of love is sweet. When hard. I figured starting the semester off with some new helmets just in case okay. you need to hand any out to anybody. Yeah, we're we're. I need to do some more events, so that's what we're gonna start doing. We're gonna try to schedule some more. We even talked about doing something for the uh, athletes too. So yeah. Just tell them to let us know. We'll like we'll send out a newsletter and get as many people out there and you know that kind of stuff. Appreciate you. Yes, sir. Thank you for your help, man. I appreciate it. Support always there, man. I always. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for everything you do. Man. Thank for all you, so you do, man. Take it easy. Let me know if you come up with any, any coupons. And, I will. Okay. Yeah, I'll be in touch. We'll see you. All right, brother. Right, Take care. Have a great day. I'm just trying to get these two units cleaned up. I got some some dirt and dust on them, so Lee's gonna help me with that. And I just want to take pictures of those. It's really difficult for us in this market to sell 500 cc bikes, 350 cc bikes. This is definitely a 50 cc town, um, which is fine, but it's just, it's a little bit of a challenge. So we've had these units for longer than I would like. So I'm trying to hustle some sales now. So I'm gonna try to take some really clean pictures, do a few Instagram posts for those particular units and uh, hopefully get some of this stuff sold. So that's what I'm working on.
Can I, can I have your attention, please? Can I have your attention, please? Allison! You guys gotta remind me to pull this out every single time. You guys, today is Allison's birthday! How old are you, Allison? Gosh, she's still so young. All right, do we have... Oh, my God, where did all those presents come from? Are those all hers? Yes. Hey, happy birthday, oh, Allison. Happy birthday, Allison. So I was going to give you guys a little tip, something that I'm doing for 2018 that has already helped me out tremendously is I've started carrying around this little scooter notebook that you guys got me for my birthday, I think, right? Birthday, yeah. Was it birthday? Yeah. yeah. I always have my to-do list. Like, you guys have seen my Trello boards before um, where I just have different lists of priorities, you know, A, B, C, D, and E. And I like to take all of my objectives and put them on these lists uh, by priority, you know, which ones have the higher priority. And one of the things that I've committed to is just listing literally three, four, five different things per day on this notebook. So like this, just putting the date with the four or five things that I absolutely want to get done today and then holding myself to getting those things done. So even if it's 1030 at night and I still have that one box to check off, like I'm going to commit, I'm just going to do it and get it done. And they're not major things like some of them have been as simple as making sure I send this specific email to this specific person. Um, but it's just helped hold me accountable to making sure that no matter how chaotic the day can get or, you know, all the twists and turns that might happen, I'm still going to make sure that at least these three to five things get done. So just something that's been working for me. I encourage you guys to do it as well. And uh, because it's easy to get lost in the never, the uh, infinite sea of to do's. Next Friday, some of the team and I are leaving to go on the Bintelli Summit. And this is something that Bintelli did last year that I thought was really, really excellent. They basically invited their dealers and said, hey guys, we're going on a cruise and we're going to be holding a, a conference on this cruise where we're going to spend a little bit of the day, you know, sharing our knowledge of the industry, you know, doing what we can to help you build your dealerships and make your dealerships better. And then you're going to spend a lot of the time having fun and networking with the other dealerships. And it was awesome. It was really, really good. Mad props to those guys. Uh, I think they executed it beautifully. Um, something that I actually wish other distributors would do more of. Um, because I definitely got a ton of benefit out of it. I know the other dealerships did as well. So I'm really, really looking forward to uh, you know seeing those dealerships, um, building relationships. It's, uh, it's great to be able to network with people that are in the same industry and to be able to learn from them, to hear some of their challenges, to be able to help them with some of their challenges. Uh, and those that, that's the greatest benefit you can ever get out of a trip like that. So, um, so I'm looking forward to that. In order to prepare for that trip, I have to check off a bunch of the to-dos. Just have list after list after list of things that I need to get done. Now, today, Eddie posted that Instagram post with us giving away all the signed items, or I guess he posted saying, you know, go follow NSFRL for an opportunity to win one of these autographed items. Um, and... This morning, right before I posted, we had 1,033 followers, something like that. We're right around 1,030 followers. And so that was at about 11 o'clock. Right now it's 414. And we sit at 1,706 followers. So almost, almost 700 <laughs> since this morning which is pretty cool. And I did spend a little bit of time digging. You know, I wanted to see, I want to know who's following us, right? I wanted to see if this was going to be worth it for us. You know, I went through and started looking at a lot of the profiles and yes, you know, I saw UF19, UF20, people in their profiles, 
um, saying that they're University of Florida students, and that's exactly what I want, and that's exactly why I wanted to do this promotion with him was because I want to get our brand, New Scooters for Less, in front of more University of Florida students. And I think that it did that beautifully. So we'll see if it like equates to scooter sales. That's like the thing that says whether or not it works. So it's really kind of cool to, to see that. And that's it for today, guys. I mean, I know it's four o'clock, 416, but I'm just gonna spend the last two hours making sure that these last couple things on my must, my non-negotiable to-do list get done today. And uh, I'm just going to prepare for that Bentelli Summit, that cruise, baby. So, guys, by now you have seen the intro to the vlog. This is something I was really pressing on. Awesome. I'm like, dude, I want, a, I, want, I want a really badass intro for the vlog for 2018. Let's make it happen. So he did. I want to know what you think of it. Do you like it? Yes or no? Comment below and let me know. See burns, you later. And it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire. The ring of fire.